Hey, Mom. Uh, yes, I'm fine. Mom, Mom, please, can I call you back? Um, what? Uh, um, yeah, yes, Mom, I can, I, I can hear you. Uh, no, of course not. Wow. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, Mom. All right. Uh, sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love you too. <laughs> okay, bye. Yeah, I'll call you right. I, I mean, I'm 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 driving to work, so when I get to the office, I'll I'll, I'll call you back. All right, love you. Bye. like that ever in your life again, okay? Don't! Oh, fuck. Fuck, man. What's wrong with you? Probably smoke every time. Just smoke all time, all day. But don't you ever in your life do this again, okay? For my answer, there's no smoking in an empty stomach, okay? No, no. Oh, fuck. You know, let's go get something to eat, please. That would be a fantastic idea. That would be a fantastic idea. Who is, who is, who is, look, I, I just gave you my last milk in the house. Do you have money? Food. Food? Listen, I'm broke, okay? I'm, there's nothing in this house for me to give you to eat. There's nothing at all to eat or drink. So if you have some money, just let me know. Do you have money with you? Huh? huh? ATM. What? ATM? Uh -huh. Listen, we'll go there, but I don't want to go there and there's no money in your account because I'll be so furious with you. For what? Food. Let's go and get dressed up, big. Food, food, food. I'm going to eat, sir. Boy, you're getting high every time. There's no freaking that you don't get high. Food. Kids don't food in this house. Let's go. Come on, ah.
so. There's no money in that room. <sighs> well, you said that. I know what I said, all right? Honestly, I thought I still had little money left in that account. Ah, man. Hey. I saw you just for my swag this night, I swear. So no, 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 no party, no, no phone, no nothing. Who says you can't have food just because we can't cook tonight? How do you mean? You can have food anywhere. All that kind of fun, right? Yeah. Uh, you bad girl. <laughs> you bad boy. Come, daddy. You come. Hey, I'm on the road, so come. Come here, baby. How come I've never really heard about this your friend before? We're not exactly friends and we have nothing in common. Besides, she's way too boring. Ah, okay. I don't even have clean clothes to wear for the date. And as you see me, so I don't feel really dry cleaner because she should not even go my body. Why are you why are you complaining now? You can actually go and meet your parents for some sort of assistance. Might or rather just want to help a total stranger. The last time I tried it, they almost seized my car. Because you were high! You were freaking high! Guy. I'm still not going back to them. Uh -uh. Maybe let's try and be more creative, you know. Let's prove to them that we can make it without their help. Kim, look at me and you now. We can hardly prove anything to ourselves, talk more of our parents. We're like outcasts. Hope say you don't put enough food for that you don't because I won't hide. Ah, what Kim, you see you go walk out with your head for this food, please. You go, ah, 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 you go high, you go. I'll be like president. What is that? Eh, Mr. Logistics is a little trouble. I'm gonna die in this year. Wait, fuck. By five kilo weed, I don't for this industry. Yes, sir. Eh? I was there. I was smoking. You know that. You know the industry. Yeah, this year. Kim, Kim, I've been calling you for three days. Why haven't you been answering your phone? I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I didn't know my phone was ringing till yesterday. That's strange. Anyways, listen. I have a problem, okay? I lied to my mom and she's about to find out. I write to mine all the time. I'm sure she's used to it. You don't understand the kind of lie I'm talking about, Kim. See, my mom is back in the country in three days, and I'm supposed to introduce her to my fiance. Uh -uh. You need to tell her that I called off the engagement. Well, um, I forgot. And if I know my mom, telling her now would be a total disaster. I mean, the chaos, the fussing, I mean, she would just marry me off in a twinkle of an eye. Like, I don't, I don't even need this. You can have it if... I'm so hungry. I can finish a huge cow. Back to your problem. I think there should be a way out. How long does your mom intend to spend in the country? How long does she stay for? Uh, about maybe two weeks, I don't know. Two weeks? Okay. There's no problem. Two weeks? For what? 
Hold on. How does someone even pretend to love someone you don't even know anything about? Maybe with one millionaire, he will learn. Yes, I mean, but she doesn't know that yet now. Does she know that you're my girlfriend? Hell no. If she finds out, she's going to cut off the deal. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. So you, so you don't mind that I have to pretend to be your girlfriend's boyfriend for two weeks and it doesn't bother you? Why not? As far as you're not screwing her for real. Guy, think I'm all. One million. One million in your account. I bet smoke that to me, your hair correct. You understand? Can you ask him to put his foot down, please? Huh? Yes. Put your foot down. Uh -huh. I don't like him. Huh? Uh, what do you coming to then? Because I feel the same about you. Uh, that's not what I meant, okay? Uh, I'm trying to say that you... Can we do something about his looks? What are we talking I'll be fine boy, you fine boy, no people with small eczema. You shouldn't be about my look. What do you want to do now? Uh, yes, I'm sure you are a fine boy. But listen, you look good, okay? I'm just, we're just trying to get you looking more responsible because my mom would be expecting a responsible man. Hey, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm bad enough. Why should I talk with that talk now? If we lose this deal, I'll be crazy more than you. So, when do we start the total makeover? You know, go shopping and. Uh, great. You're a lifesaver. We can start now, actually. Um, we have to do something about that hair. Ma, no, Mara, no, no, go there. No, this is not my swag. Oh, Mara, no, 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 go there. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be swagger boy, madam. No, they do all this change me, do makeover things. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be done. I'm, I'm sure it is, but you know, you would, you would love it at the end of the day. We're just trying to get you looking more appropriate. You know, we go shopping, change your wardrobe, and... Well, what's happened to my, my wardrobe? Well, this is not the dazzle. No, I'm now. How would you like your payment? I uh, am. Okay. Half now, then. Half of the deal is done. Great. That works. King, give me a second. Let me just get my checkbook, okay? What, what, what was sports brat? Well, her money isn't. Talking about the money, man. Yeah. That money coming. First hundred kilos. Oh no, no, man. Eh, no, no. You go, you be on calm down. Ah, you be sabi boy, man. Um, yes. Clowns scare me. Even though I love cartoons, my mom would expect you to know that. So. Okay, maybe I should get a pen and a paper and take note of that. Yes, you might want to... I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just a bit paranoid. Because my mom can't suspect anything. Madam, madam, just, just relax, okay? I, I got this. Okay. Alright? Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. So, where am I dropping you off? Um, the next bus stop, there, yeah. Why? I can take you home. No, 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 not to worry. I mean, I couldn't put you through all the stress of back and forth. Anyways, thanks for the offer. Pride never pays. I mean, it does narcissism. Huh. Big word. Hmm. Oh, big boy. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> I know. Right.
Thank you. So I'll, I'll see you. Okay, sure. Please don't be late, okay? Just me, or are you looking younger? You tell me. <gasps> you see someone? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> My soon to be son in love. Isn't he supposed to be here to receive me? Uh -huh. I caught you. You're trying to change the topic. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are we doing about your wedding preparations? Really, Mom? Mm -hmm. You just got in. I'm a mother on a mission. Oh, God, you're unbelievable. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get you. Water. At least first, you're not dodging his bullets. Before we talk about, you're not dodging his bullets. <laughs> sit while I go get my mother. Okay, mama, I'll come help you like this. Just sit. Wow. Shouting what I love to be. Please, can I? I like him already. <laughs> 
So, how was your flight? I have a flight that was good. Uh, I heard you had to rush off to Johannesburg. Oh, yes, I had to go there. Actually, there's something that came up that needs my presence there. Mm, let's go. And I can see that you're really my favorite author of all time, Daniel Steele. Oh, Daniel Steele, yes. You love romance? Yes, I do. Scarlet thinks it's a waste of time. Yes, she does. <laughs> Mom, let me take him inside to freshen up after such a long trip. Just tell me that you want him to yourself. And I thought I was a romantic. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'll see you at dinner. Looking forward to it, Ma. I was just doing the job I was paid to do. That's it. Well, you're doing it too well. Look, if there's something you want me to change about this old thing. No, no, no. This. Fine, okay? It's perfect. But you know you are a piece of art, you know. Right? This is my room. We, we're staying together to make this. Little white lie of ours a bit more convincing, okay? Okay. That sounds like fun to me. Well, there are rules. Rules? Yes. Okay. Rule number one. No snoring, okay? Okay. No littering, mm. like having your box on the bed. Come on, take a chill pill. <laughs> no eating in here. Always keep the bathroom door shut. Okay. Then do not undress when I'm in the room. And most importantly, do not... You said what now? What, what? What were you saying? C can you put on a shirt, please? I, I thought the reason why you brought me upstairs was for me to have a bath. I'm just about to do that right now. Excuse me. I'm sorry, ma. Are you okay? No, 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 just take it, take it, take I'm it, sorry, take you with you. Just go, 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 go. I'll finish, I'll finish up. I'm sorry about that. No, it's okay. You, you don't have to apologize about it. It's one of those things, ma. No, it's not. Okay. Yeah, that's, 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 that's fine. Thank you so much. <laughs> How did you ever get my daughter to agree to marry you? I... I um I I, 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 mean, I I was sick. Yes, I was sick, and um, everybody left me and ran away. But she she stayed and she took good care of me. And I said to myself, I couldn't have let an angel like that just slip away. So I, you know, thought to marry her. So I proposed to her 
for the sixth time. Oh, sixth time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and um, <laughs> yes, and um, knowing how vulnerable I could be, she said yes. Oh, that's very really romantic. Yeah. And she doesn't know Daniel still. <laughs> <laughs> um, this this is really good. This food is nice. Oh yes, Daniela makes a mean jollof rice. Who? I supervise the cooking. Okay. Mm -hmm. Scarlet, Scarlet, mm -hmm. and Eniola make mean jollof rice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, she always does, actually. <laughs> She's a, um, a good cook, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and... Um, Hospital? Really? That's the oddest place to propose to a woman. Oh, come on. You should have come up with your own story on a follow suit. And besides, your mom knows you so well, so there was no need coming up with some fairy tale romantic story. Right. I am just the Scarlet, the plain girl. Oh, come on, I don't I didn't mean it that way. As a matter of fact, I, I think you're hot. Boy, you're tripping. Keep your mind on the contract, okay? Right. My body is off limits. And that is the most important rule you should never forget. You know, excuse me. Yes, that is your side. This is my side. Your hands and every other thing connected to your body stay on your side of the bed till we come to the end of our unfortunate night together. Capish? <sighs> come on, I can't sleep without pillow. Well, Mr. Nathan, you're not too old to learn new things. So, learn. Good night. Kim, Kim. Can I sleep in silence? like a year. Hmm. How fun are you now? <laughs> come, come, wait, that reminds me. You said you've been friends with this scarlet of a girl. Mm -hmm. You've never really met a house help. Mm -hmm. I told you, we're not exactly friends. She loves the things that I detest. Mm, okay. Guess what? What? In your lines a house help. What? Yes. Did she see you? Of course she did. And I'm guessing that maybe she has not really, you know, gotten over the old incident of the past. But I don't think she'll say anything. Are you sure? Yeah, because um, she wouldn't want Scarlett finding out the truth about her. Yeah, that's true. Now I feel better. Have fun. Now.
Yeah, yeah, I want to talk about this. Like that. Papa, you're not getting to this house. I don't finish everything, man. You're not asking to go. Well, you see your period. <laughs> huh? Hey, <laughs> Blackie, Blackie. Hmm. My African woman, she's an African queen. She's just the enjoy. Oh, boy. So she can't resemble you, man, being. So she's an animal. Toro, toro. I'm risking. Would I have some of this enjoyment? Mm -hmm. Food, morning, afternoon, night. Every, and they chop every, and they chop, and they chop fruits. Uh -huh. For after a long time, they chop fruit, all those salad. He he. So as you resemble man being, see your business. So I resemble your animal. <laughs> My African wish. Oh, my God, you. I don't want to. I don't miss you. I don't miss you, I don't miss you, D.I.E. 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 I don't miss you, Good afternoon, Ma. I didn't know you went out. Oh, yes, I did. Um, you were sleeping when I left. I didn't want to be stopped. Oh, that's very close to I was about savoring a fine bottle of wine. Would you care to join me? Yeah, sure. Why not? Don't get a glass. All right, all right. I'll be right back. Inola. Nathan. Wow. What a coincidence. I would rather call it a reminder of a painful past. Yeah, look, well, what happened at night was, was not... Stop. I'm trying to gather the remains of my shattered pieces. Please, don't ruin that for me. Yeah, it's okay. It's, um, it's fine, I understand. Thank you for understanding. Do you really love my daughter? What? What? Do you really love her? Yeah, of, of, of course I, 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 I do. I mean, I, I wouldn't go ahead to want you to marry her if I didn't love her. So tell me, what was the first thing that endeared you to her? Well, I... I... I guess it's our um, assertiveness. Mm, her assertiveness. She got that from her father. Cool. Yes. You know, my marriage to her father was a disaster. We couldn't agree on anything, but we stayed together till his demise. Because of Scarlett? Oh, well. I've always been afraid that she will remain scarred for life after her experience with us. Still, thanks for raising such a wonderful lady. Mm. So I guess the toast is in order. Sure it is. To the future. To the Is everything okay? You don't look cheerful. Did something happen? 
Why are you to break up your engagement with your ex? Excuse me? That is none of your business. Yeah, it's, it's none of my business. I'm, I guess my business here is just to pretend to be your fiancé. Yeah. <sighs> Listen, I'm sorry. He was, he was pressurizing me. You mean he wanted to get married to you, but you're not ready for it? Uh, well, he, he was impatient. What, what, what did you expect me to do? I had to let him go. Okay, that, that means the problem is not with him, but with you. Why were you so scared to settle down? Have you been talking to my mother? Look, Scarlett, your mom cares a lot about you. She's concerned. She wants you to settle down. And I will, all right? Someday. So enough with the psychoanalysis. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry for prior to your question of life. You know, just shut up and do what I'm paid to do. Right? Yeah, right. Mm. Oh my God! You smoke? Of course, what am I saying? Of course you smoke. You are a thug. And it's not even cigarettes. Cannabis? Cannabis sativa? Do you, do you even have an idea what this does to you? The damage it does emotionally, psychologically, physically. Do, do you even know? Please, it's just smoke, okay? Please, okay? Please. I don't even know what you have to say for yourself. But listen, I will not have you smoking in my room or my bathroom. All right? Okay, fine. That's just fine. There you go. Just threw it. What? Out of my bathroom, please. You said what? Out! I was and now I'm awake, so what's wrong? Uh, uh, nothing, Mom. It's just uh... minor issues at work, that's all. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Well, you can assume your father's position any time you want. Please, Mom, let's not do this. We've been through this a thousand times. I am not joining the family business. I want to build my own career myself. Mm -hmm. And besides, I cannot abandon my life here and follow you to London just to start all over again. I mean, Mom. But you know why I am persistent? God, Mom, I know. Okay, and I'm engaged. So what plans are you making for your wedding? Um, well, listen, you know what? Nathan and I are taking things slow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, God. I can't smoke in your bathroom and in your bedroom. Because you're supposed to be pretending to be a responsible man. What do you think my mom would do if she f found out that you smoke? She would only learn the truth. And what's the truth? Oh. Oh, the, that the almighty Scarlett Adams cannot date a guy like me. Right? Is that the truth? Well, you don't have to get upset, okay? I don't think a man like you could find someone like me attractive, so... Well, if you're not so cranky and uptight, you won't feel this miserable. Look who is talking. I'm, <laughs> I'm paying you one million naira to pose as my fiancé. So from all indications, it says you are lower than a gigolo. You know what? You go and find yourself a new fiancé. At this moment, this deal is off. I'm going to pay you back all the time you paid into my account, despite your wasted days here. So have yourself a good, a miserable life. Nonsense. My mom is sick. She has a rare heart condition. And if she, she finds out the truth about all of this, it could kill her. So, please, please stay. Based on logistics, I, I'll stay, but not because of you. Nathan, can you stop the music for a second, please? Um, listen, I'm sorry. Wow. She apologizes. You know what, I, I think it's really unfair to me to accept the apology because I'm sure deep inside of you right now there are lots and lots of insults to be unleashed on me now. 
really, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, I had no right to saying the things I said. Okay, it's okay. You, you're forgiven. Thanks. Um, what I said about my mom. Look, I, I, I know that, and I understand. But what I don't get to understand is why you're scared of marriage. If you, marriage is a beautiful thing. Hmm. Yeah. So why are you not married? Who me? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Come on. Anybody that get married except Nathan. Come on. I mean, which woman in her right senses want to be with a guy like me? No. Nah. You enjoy lying to yourself, Mr. Nathan. with um, turkey sauce as well as um, fruit salad on the side. Taste it. Thank you. Yeah. You like it? It's good. Just good? Okay, a scale of 1 to 10, how good is it? <laughs> I'll give you a 5. Oh, fine. Don't mind me, I was just being silly. I'll give you an eight, actually. Really? Yeah. Well, that's a good one. I'm quite impressed. Oh, thank you. Mm hmm Where did you learn how to cook like this? Well, being the oldest son of amongst five girls, I mean, oh. you can imagine. Oh. Yeah. It's really good. Thank you. Yeah. Can I ask you something? Yeah, sure. Why are you doing this? I mean, you know you do not have to, right? It's not as if mom is here or anything. Why? Uh, I... 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 Have you tried this? It's, it's really nice. It's really... Oh. Yes. What's in it? Sorry, because I'm allergic to something. Go back up there. You got... Uh... You okay? Mm -hmm. I'm just tired. I know, right? Yeah. You need to rest, you know? I know, I will. Um, I just wanted to say thank you. For what? I mean, for today, I, I had a nice time. Well, I did too. It was thanks to you. But you haven't told me anything about you. <laughs> I, I thought you actually were very comfortable with your title you gave to me. Your fake fiance. Uh, still, it wouldn't hurt if I knew the real you, right? Okay, this... <laughs> this is... This is crazy. I mean, this is... It kind of feels strange because, I mean, it's like the very first time you want to get to know me. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for laughing. So yes, um, you're cool, you can ask me anything. And I'll try very much to be very honest with you. Well, anything. Anything you know, is nothing. Uh, tell me about your family, your parents. Do you have siblings? Do you have a dog, a cat? Did you ride a bike? Like, anything. Did I? No, no. I, I don't want to go. Family, please. Okay. As a matter of fact, this whole getting to know me thing here 
I don't think it's a good idea. Please. Okay. If that's how you feel. Yeah, thank you. Good night. Alright. Good night. Um, I'm sorry, I... I have to. Sorry, I need to get that. Don't worry, I'll put the rest myself. I'll feel safe if I did it myself. Understand, Kim, why you want us to meet in a place like this? Like, it's such a rough neighborhood. It's so rough. Am I wait? When I was driving down here, let me tell you what happened. Everybody was looking at me like I'm this strange woman that fell from some planet. Scarlett, this is like the coolest place in town. Kim, this is not cool. Like, oh, whatever. God, you started with this your secret. Oh Jesus. Him. See, Kim, let me ask you a question. Hmm? I'm not trying to look for trouble because I know how you can be. But you're such a beautiful girl. I don't know why you always dress like this. And I mean, you should dress more appropriately, like a lady. Like what? You know. Never mind. Okay. Sweetheart, so tell me, how are you getting along with Nathan? Hmm. It's okay. Just okay. Well, there are times when I want to strangle that boy. But other times he um, he's a totally different person. Someone, a woman maybe stupid enough to fall in love with. Don't tell me that you're falling in love with him. <laughs> Come on, me fall in love with Nathan, a rascal? God, who would believe that? And besides, that would be a stupid thing to do. You're right. That would be a very stupid thing to do. Because trust me, whatever he's doing is just acting towards the demand of the contract. So you should have that at the back of your head. You know, Kim, you're right. It's to be unwise to misjudge any romantic gesture. Yeah. And also catastrophic. Hmm. Catastrophic. <laughs> Anything for your girl. You know now. <laughs> you have to come with me to my car. I might have some things. Hey, sure girl. Give me five. <laughs> really? <laughs> Amazing. Wow. Oh, but you know you have to be here a few days before the wedding. All of you. Yes. No problem. Hey. All right. No, no, no. Uh, yes, I'll tell her. No, I will get her to call you back. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Yee! You look excited. I am. <laughs> I just got off the phone with... um. Scarlett's uncle, the one in the U.S. He's coming home for the wedding with his family. <laughs> wedding? What, what, what wedding is that? Your wedding. In fact, we fixed the date already. 26th of this month. Super. Isn't that? Great news. <laughs> Great news. She didn't tell me that, did she? This is not a plan. 
plan. It was never the plan. It was never the plan. And you know it. I beg your pardon? Look, whatever plan you have with your mother, you better call her right now and cancel it. What on earth are you talking about? The wedding! What wedding? Are, are you saying that you're not aware of the fact that your mom already fixed a date for our wedding? You didn't know that? Oh, oh, darling, see, come and see this dress. It will look fabulous in it. Mom, are you planning my wedding behind my back? Um, I, I was going to tell you. When? Now? God, Mom, it's my wedding, right? And I should be the one planning it, not you or anyone else for that matter. And I, I thought I told you Nita and I were taking things slowly. Slowly, Mom. Come on, sit with your mom. Sit, 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 sit. The truth is, I didn't quite tell you the entire truth about why I want you to get married as soon as possible. Your father's will has a clause. What clause? Well, we can't access it until you're married. So your uncles remain trustees. This is unbelievable. You know, it's great. Let's get married tomorrow. Oh, come on now, oh, Sally. This evening. So? There won't be any wedding. Look, Scarlett. It won't. Let's stop being paranoid, okay? I have straightened things out with my mom. No, that... Look, I... I just wanted to know if you're okay. That, that's it. Yes. You're lying. Now you know me. Listen, don't even act like you know me. Because you do not know the tiniest thing about me. Yes, hi. Listen, can the presentation date be shifted by any chance? 
Nothing, I... Never mind. No. Won't be a problem at all. Sure. Hey, can I call you back? I'm not now, I'm busy. What are you still doing here? I thought I... Are you crying? What is it? What is it? Innocent girl at your birthday party? God, how could you be so sadistic? I mean, even if she was a call girl, fine, but does that give you the right to do that to her? You know, for a moment, I, I, I thought that maybe, just maybe, who knows, something good could come out of you. But boy, was I gravely wrong. You were nothing and will be nothing more than a rascal. Hi. You want to know about me, right? It's all in there. Listen, Nathan, not now. I cannot Stop do this. It. What just happened? This boy.
Do you mind that, please? You know, I don't, I don't even know where to begin. I was very drunk that night. It was not until the next morning I discovered what happened. <laughs> well, I'm happy you sent that monster who raped her to the hospital. Even though Enola doesn't know that part of the story. What difference would that make? <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> A lot. I mean, you fought for her. Uh, at least it would have changed her perception of you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Personal question. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, do you think there could ever be a reconciliation with your parents? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's too late for that. It's never too late. You think so? Trust me. And Nate? Yeah. I'm sorry I misjudged you.
Madam. Madam. Oh, what is it? It's it's morning, Ma. Oh. 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 oh my god. Yeah. Why didn't you wake me up earlier? I'm sorry, ma. I have a presentation and I'm already late. How did you... What? Look, Emma. Make me a cup of coffee. Quickly. Yes, Cynthia. Hi. Oh, they are. Okay. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. Scarlet. Yes? They are all waiting for you. Uh, uh, sure, okay. I'll be with them shortly. Work today. Hi. Uh, oh, Lord. 
good. You okay? Mm-hmm. Oh, this game is so freaking interesting. <laughs> oh. Um, did you by any chance touch my laptop? No, of course not. Why? Because someone messed with my laptop last night. And I remember you saying you studied chemical engineering, so... I'm wondering, who else could it be? It could be anybody. I mean, it could be your mom. You know she owns a family in London, and she could know all these things. Nathan, please tell me the truth. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to put in some kind of trouble at the office. I, I, I thought I could, I, I could help you. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I'm laughing at you. I said I'm sorry. Oh, no, no. Oh, Lord, have mercy. How can you be so smart yet so ignorant of it? How do you mean? I aced my presentation today. And that is because of you. Oh, you accepted the proposal? Well, not with words, but the smiles on their faces tell me that I'm on to bigger things. <laughs> Do you know what this could mean for my company? <laughs> wow! Nice! Thank you. Really. Oh, that's a good one. Yes. Youngest. Yeah? Director! Yeah. <laughs> Are you for real? Yes! They put me on the board today, the board of directors. Can you imagine that? Me! Wow. I cannot wait to tell mom. Like, I really can you know, miss me something to her, but... <laughs> That's <laughs> so sick. I, I, can, I can barely contain myself. Like, wow. I'm trying to keep it together. I'm so, I'm, so, I'm so proud of you. I know. I'm proud of me, too. <laughs> You know what? What? It's all thanks to you. How? Why? The teeny weeny thing you did on my laptop. Oh, come on. I pretty much just finished the work you started. That's it. <laughs> Nate, don't be so modest. <laughs> well. You should give yourself some credit, you know. I was at the wit's end before you came in. So it is thanks to you. <laughs> well, I mean, um, I've, w I've watched you work so hard and I think you deserve this. Hmm. You do, actually. I know. It was a long time coming. I'm so happy and so proud. I know, right? Yes. You know what? Will you come up with me for a drink? Uh, well, just to celebrate the new appointment, is all. Oh, just that? Yeah, sure. Why not? I, I will come through for it. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Let me go get ready. <laughs> Just a drink, right? Now. I, I mean, I wasn't sure why the guy was, you know, he had this 
annoying look on his face because I'm like, I want him like you dropped your wallet for crying out loud. Oh God, he was wearing a suit, right? Yeah. And then you had your. <sighs> That, that was my swag, actually. Well, appearance matters. Come on. What did you expect the guy to do? <laughs> of course, he's going to think you are tough. Come on. I'm being serious. And to think that all of this would happen when you know, people were supposed to be looking for jobs and stuff. Like, you would think anything. You would think the worst. Well, what's he looking for one? Well, that brings me to the question I want to ask you. Okay. What are you afraid of? Like, what are you so afraid of? Afraid of nothing. Then why did you dread having a job so much? It's Colin, like, let's be honest, kid. You and I, okay? Which company in his or right senses will employ a guy like me? None. Oh, here we go again. Yeah. Listen, okay. because of you, my company landed a huge contract. But that was a one-off. Mm, I hear you. I'm not super huge is what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Now, because of you still, I attained my dream position. But you worked hard for that. I know. I know that I worked so hard, but you put the extra thing that, you know, it was all you. And yet, somehow, you seem to think that you were not good enough. <coughs> okay, you know what? I'll tell you what. How about I should just see you to no. if you please, please don't, okay? Please don't. Okay. Oh, I'm serious. And I said okay. I was hoping you would notice. Guess what? What? I'm in love. Who ever thought it would happen, right? <laughs> and girl, it is all thanks to you. Mm -hmm. You ain't what? Yeah, Nathan and I have decided to make it real. <laughs> but, but it was just a deal. Mm -hmm. You meant to give him 500,000 there and both of you part ways. Well, the heart darling wants what he wants. And he always finds his way. Scarlett, both of you are incompatible. Mm -hmm. You're mean, boring, and he's a sophisticated lady. Hey, please don't get me wrong. While he's a scoundrel. Wow, Kim. That was a lot. Listen, you're scaring me. I thought you'd be happy to hear this. Nathan is my boyfriend. I'm, I'm sorry, what was that? I said Nathan is my boyfriend. I mean, I speak when I speak. Eh? Now my guy be that now. Which levels? Now my guy be that. How far now?
Oh, it's happening right now, girl. It's so happening. Keep your dawn. Okay? Look at us. Look at me. All we do all day is just smoke and then drink and have sex all day. Everything wrong that's gonna be in my life is all thanks to you. My parents cut me off of everything because of my wayward attitude, and it's all thanks to one person. You! Baby, I have changed. I promise I'll be the perfect girlfriend that you've always wanted me to be. I'll cook your meals. I'll wash your clothes. In fact, I'll clean the whole house. Oh, come on, it's too late to make a man because I'm in love with Scarlett. Nathan, you can't be in love with her. You're in love with me. Oh, yes, I was in love with you. Until Scarlett made me realize there are other things in life to love. Look, we're just two grown-ups stuck up in a teenager's body. It's time to grow up. Baby. I can't live without you. I'm begging you, please don't do this to me. I'll do whatever you want me to do, please. You'll do what I want you to do. Yes, sir. Anything, right? Okay. This is what I want you to do for me. Stay away from me! I can't, please. I can't, baby, please. I can't. Nathan. If I can't have you, nobody will. Nobody. I'll go and meet Mrs. Adams and I'll tell her everything. I won't exclude any details. Don't try me. Don't dare. I mean, he's going into a part where you threaten me. Nathan! You know what? Go ahead. Do your worst. I'll wait for you. Go ahead, do it! This while you were planning a wedding and talking about. I am an old woman. I have seen plans in life. I have experience. I know when two people are in love. I have seen 99.9. So I cannot be fooled by the two of you. I I I waited to see how far you could you could stretch your lies and deception. Mrs. Adams, I'm <clears throat> I'm very sorry about all of this. Please. No, sweetheart, you don't need to apologize. My daughter paid you to deceive me, her mother, and you did a perfect job. I feel so terrible about that. You should feel more terrible about stealing your friend's boyfriend. Is that what she told and you? And you? You need to apologize to this angel. <clears throat> okay, ma'am. I don't want to say, but I'm, I'm I'm very, very, very sorry about how things turned out. Please forgive me. So can I now go ahead and plan an actual wedding, please? Hey. Hey. Hey, I wish mom I didn't see her downstairs. She stepped out. You know, mom doesn't <laughs> she doesn't like to sit in one place for too long. Okay. Uh, well, someone is dancing. <laughs> well, what's happening? Why are you so excited? I, I want to show you something. Okay. Okay. Yes, uh, uh Where is it? What's this? Open it. Are you pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Okay. What? Yes. No, go down, Rick. Oh my God, babe. Yes. You got an offer? Yes, it did. With Stanford Group of Companies? Yes. No, just go, go down. Read more. <gasps> yes. A new car? Yes. A house? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> That's what you wanted. A responsible man. Uh huh. I thought you were not interested in working. But hey, honey, until I met you, I wasn't into a lot of things. And right now, I've met the most intelligent and beautiful woman of all time, and that's you. Oh, babe. I'm happy. I'm happy for you. Are you sure you're happy for me? <laughs> Come on, of course I am. Happy enough to spend the rest of your life with me. Is that a proposal? Well, I thought I already proposed to you. I'm in the hospital. Babe. This is me proposing to you. Yes, even though I have a ring, but I promised you that I would. This is the most romantic thing anyone has done for me. Really? Yes. I mean, I fell in love with you already. <laughs> oh, well, you're a mess. But you changed. You changed for me. So. With or without a ring, Mr. Nathan Mitchell, I will marry you. Yes! 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 yes. 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 yes.